In this video, I will talk about the three big water dam projects in Afghanistan. Shah and Arus Dam is located in Shakar Dara. Shakar Dara is one of the districts of Kabul province in eastern Afghanistan with a population of nearly 72,900 people. The center of this district is Shakar Dara. Shakar Dara is the largest district of Kabul in terms of population and size, which is located in the northern part of Kabul city. The Shah and Arus Dam is a weight dam. A weight dam is a type of dam that is generally built using concrete and stone, and the basis of their work is to use the weight of the materials used to close the waterway. This dam is 78 meters high and is located 22 kilometers from Kabul city, Afghanistan, on the Shakar Dara River. The outlet of this dam is 60 meters long with three openings, mainly intended for supplying irrigation water. This dam, which is also used for flood control, is a reliable source of water supply for Kabul city and Shakar Dara area. Shah and Arus Dam. In Kabul, which is considered one of the largest and most important dams in Afghanistan, the work of Shah and Arus Dam was going on for more than 10 years in the Shakar Dara district of Kabul. And now the work of this dam is over. The reason for the delay in the construction of the Shah and Arous Dam was the non-cooperation of local residents due to the issue of ownership of the lands that were covered by this head and the basic negligence of the contractor companies for the construction of the Shah and Arous Dam. This dam has a storage capacity of 9 million cubic meters of water and production. It has 1.2 megawatts of electricity, the work and construction of which has been going on for several years, but it intensified and was completed in the last year. This dam is supposed to irrigate about 2,700 hectares of land and supply 4 million cubic meters of drinking water to the residents of Kabul. This dam was built at a cost of 52 million US dollars, which provides drinking water to 5 million citizens of Kabul every year. 3,500 families will directly benefit from this clause. Mahipur Power Dam is located 40 kilometers from Kabul city. This dam was built in 1344 with the cooperation of Germany and has three turbines with a power of 66 megawatts. Currently, one of its turbines with a power of 19 megawatts is active. The rest is worn out. This dam does not have a natural water reservoir, but the water is drawn from the bottom to the top by the water pump and electricity is extracted from the speed of this water. Argandab Dam is located in Shah Wali Khat District, Kandahar Province in Afghanistan, approximately 45 kilometers north of the center of Kandahar Province. Built in 1952, it is the second largest dam in Afghanistan. In 2019, the Afghan government spent $450 million to further exploit this dam. The project includes raising the dam wall to a height of 12 meters, which enables the dam reservoir to store 1 billion cubic meters of water and installing three turbines to generate 22 megawatts of electricity. The Argandab Dam is built over the Argandab River, which is 240 miles long. For years, the reservoir of this dam has been filled with a lot of sediments, and its canal system has reduced the benefits of irrigation. This dam required its renovation, the first phase of which was completed with the assistance of Canada. The second phase of the dam requires raising the height of the dam in order to compensate for the lack of storage of dam sediments and the absolute exploitation of its channels. Arghandab Dam was built between 1951 and 1952, when Afghanistan's relationship with the United States was improving. The purpose of creating the dam was to help Kandahar farmers and provide clean drinking water for Kandahar citizens. Arghandab Embankment is an embankment structure made of soil and rock. Its height is 55 meters and its width is 535 meters. Two culverts have been built to remove the flood. In order to remove water for irrigation to the system of canals, dams have been built in the lower part of the dam with two control valves. Its irrigation system is designed to be able to irrigate 74,000 hectares of land with a main canal that is 77.6 kilometers long and secondary canals that are 415 kilometers long. The main channel is capable of transferring 42.5 cubic meters of water per second. 
After the dam was completed in 1952, it was well operated for decades. However, water supply channels and the use of dams were neglected in the 1980s. A project status assessment team that included Canadian experts revealed that the reservoir has reduced sediment storage by 34%. Still, the canals had to be cleared of sediments, the control valves were leaking, and there was no plan for its full operation. So, a two-stage plan was undertaken. With the completion of the mentioned plan, the reservoir of the dam will increase from 300 million cubic meters of water to 484 million cubic meters of water, and 10 megawatts of electricity will be produced. The first phase of dam renovation and development work was carried out by Canada from 2009 to 2012 under the title of Argandab Irrigation Modernization Project with a budget of nearly $44 million. Sediments were extracted from the main and secondary canals with a total length of 493 kilometers and water control valves and electrical inputs were replaced. The second stage, increasing the height of the dam to increase the volume of the reservoir, which had reached 500 million cubic meters of water to 290 million cubic meters of water, seemed very difficult. This stage required raising the dam wall to a height of 8 meters, modifying the structural, hydraulic, electrical, and spillway characteristics. The initial work of the project was started by U.S. Army engineers. But after some time, it was stopped due to financial issues with the Afghan government. Shah and Araus Dam and Mahipar Barg Dam in Afghanistan have many benefits. First, the Shah and Araus Dam, with a height of 78 meters and a storage capacity of 9 million cubic meters of water, provides irrigation for about 740,000 hectares of agricultural land and produces 1.2 megawatts of electricity. This dam is also very vital for flood control and urban water supply in the surrounding areas, especially Kabul city. On the other hand, Mahipar Power Dam produces electricity with 66 MW turbines and uses renewable energy sources in Afghanistan. Also, by increasing the water storage capacity and developing the irrigation system, Argandab Dam helps to provide water for farmers and citizens of Kandahar and produces electric energy. These dams not only help the development of agriculture and the economy of the region, but also help to provide drinking water for the urban and rural population and control floods in these areas. Thank you for watching.